Hi guys, this is Eric from TechShare. Today I'm gonna explain you about the Stripe payment gateway. So the use case of this today's video would be uh, very often you might be uh, you might have seen in different web pages that there was a there is an option to select the subscription, and based on that user will be able to buy some of the subscriptions and also the payment um, so once you finish the payment then you can basically go and uh, continue your subscription so the payment will be uh, made automatically at the end of the each month and um, yeah that way you can basically uh, use the subscription as long as you want to and also you can anytime go and cancel your subscription right so that is the use case i'm going to cover today so let's jump into the main video now all right so you will see that uh, we have two use cases so we'll allow user to purchase a subscription and there will be recurring payment uh, deduction based on user subscription so let's jump into the stripe uh, payment gateway now so if you see here i have already logged in here in the uh, so what you need to do is you need to register yourself in the stripe and uh, first of all uh, you basically need to create some of the api keys and um yeah well i mean this is this is important this api key is very very important because when you will uh, use this uh, api um so you we need to provide this api key so if i now show you the project the project is already hosted in my github i'm gonna show you uh, the link of the project in the description so you can you guys can check this out and uh, this is the project basically so i have created this really small project and uh, let me run this project and show you guys what we have so far so let me refresh this page and then what you will see here is um, i have created a very small view where you will see i have two product subscription two subscription basically two products so number one product is 70 dollar per month for uk people for example and there is 100 dollar for um, us people per month so there are two subscription you can you know select each or any of these so basically the ideal approach would be based on the user country that will be switched automatically so we, we need to do that in the back inside but that is something we can do anytime so now if we select for example uk and then if you press the checkout button then what you will see here is it will redirect to the stripe and based on your api key it will land here and then you will see here that you have this 70 basically i i, I used as pound so you need to use the pound symbol in the website as well but that's you know you can do any symbol there but look this 70 appears here and then you can basically pay here so we'll also show you guys how can we pay using the test credit card of, of stripe uh, and again if you go back and if you click this us subscription this is basically 100 pound and if you check out now then you'll see here that is automatically redirected and uh, uh, sort of you know you can create the subscription straight away so now let me jump into the code and then i'll show you what what is the required thing to do in order to achieve this kind of use cases so the very very important thing i would say is to go here in the portal and then create some products which is very important because uh, if you go to the products then you will see i have created a couple of product here so for example think of a scenario that your users um, are you know belong to different countries you can basically create the subscription based on the user location geo location or you can basically create a product based on your um feature um you know um so maybe one customer might be able to might might be wanting to use a a, a package for example which is professional package then you might have some uh, amount based on the professional user you might have some amount based on maybe some corporate user or you might have some amount based on the starter package for example so this is different you know uh, package that you can definitely configure and you can create your product here so what is the way you can create product very easy you just need to create add product and then you can now name it here description it if you want to then you can even you know upload an image here as well and then the pricing very important 
you can say okay this is standard pricing so there are a lot of different options you have you can go through the de description of each of them but i would say the standard pricing is very very nice it, it can fit any any sort of feature that i just described you can put a name here in the price and then importantly here you have on time and recurring so on time means you purchase this one and then that's all so this is on time or if you want to have some sort of subscription based on month or year whatever your um, intention is you can basically configure here and then everything will be basically controlled by the stripe and the idea is stripe will so initially you will um, you will um, uh, user will buy your product and you will get sort of you will request the invoice basically and user will fill the credit card page here for example the very first time so very first time think of a scenario that users select this one this package and check out and once user fill this form with their real credit card information and everything and subscribe then you will be user will be invoiced and you will get a sort of call back immediately saying that hey your user has registered or subscribed successfully now each of the month when user will be paid uh, the amount will be deducted then there will be a callback um, web hook in point basically you can register the web hook and anytime there is any transaction or anything happens uh, from in, within the within the stripe then you will get some sort of data callback so that you can do basically here easily so if you go in the in the stripe page here let me cancel this one and then uh, let me go in the developers window and then there is a webhook section where you can basically add an in point here and uh, stripe will give you the data in that in point and i also have put the details of that controller as well in my project so i'll now explain the project a bit uh, then i think we are ready to uh, test and 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 yeah you can jump into the implementation straight away so the checkout api controller is the controller that i am using at this moment so i have used this create checkout session so if you see the url here uh let me go back so i have this create checkout session so basically i am i am in this controller at this moment in this controller so in the in this controller there is the index view which is basically this view um here you can see so this is basically represents the index and then um in the index we have create so basically once you uh, press this uh, checkout button and then basically we call this create and this is a http post so we are also posting some data basically so what kind of data this 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 uh, this data so when you select a certain uh, certain uh, selection here and then create checkout then we post this data here and then what we do is we we from the request form we take this um, radio buttons value and then what we basically do is if you see this object in this object we are basically pa passing a price option which is very important then what is price option this price option basically going with this object and there is a success url and cancel url you can also provide that one as well and then this checkout session id um, this is basically coming basically as a um, um you know as as an option here so that will be filled automatically and then let me let me give you the price option so if you open this view and in the index then you will see i have basically two products i am using one is this one so this is basically the radio button one is this one and there is a value you can see here i am using this id so why do we get this id so i showed you before if you remember uh, there is a product uh, page here and you will see here these two i am using this bottom two so if you open this one for example then you will see here there is a there is a value which is basically uh, app id you can see here this one um, then you will see this is the value so this is the value so last four digit is a r h a so this is the one so we need to we need to provide this value because then when you will request to stripe then stripe will understand that which product you are referring to so now let me just test it in front of you guys so i'm gonna select this uk checkout and then it will land here it will land in the stripe so now what we'll do is we'll 
fill this information so let me put my name here and then card number so if you go here and 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 write stripe uh test test card then you will see uh there are a couple of um bunch of basically different testing card you can use any of this so you, you can go here and then copy this one and then paste it here any valid month is all right so if you if you say 12 25 or 23 and any three digit cvc is fine and um, okay so this is email so you can put any email right and then name you can give it a name like this and then you can say subscribe now if that card works obviously it should work because this is a test card you can see here this is says that okay subscription is successful subscription to hoxto plan is successful so i was actually naming it like hoxto plan so that's the thing so now here um you can even manage your billing information as well so this is all configured uh, in, in in my application i'll show you guys but you, you can see here i can now unsubscribe i can cancel my plan and everything right so everything is there in the solution i'll show you now so now in the code point of view you can see here this checkout api controller is nothing but to represent the very fast phase where user will be able to select an option to 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 subscribe now once the subscription is done then basically will be landing uh, basically uh, in the in the checkout there is a success so we are actually you know the cancel and su success url we are defining the same controller with success in points so basically this one so in the success we will see this is the view of the success and it simply say this message right and then um, nothing nothing is here but this is important that we also using a form post and we are referring to another portal session so once user successfully purchase then we this is our responsibility to redirect user to the portal so that user can cancel his um his subscription or anything any sort of modification he can do so that's why we are referring to portal um create portal sessions so if you see here there is a portal api controller and you will see the route i configured here this was the, this is the same basically and here i have this http post so what we are doing basically is once user select to go to the portal then we are actually uh, you know redirecting user to this endpoint and this endpoint basically get the session id that user just you know get from from the stripe and we are basically populating the uh, the data and redirecting user to the stripe so that stripe can understand okay this is the session id which is a valid session or not and then load the stripe data of that particular user so this is another thing and the other thing is you know um uh, wavehook controller as well so if you see i have also attached a, a wavehook controller as well so you can add the wavehook controller here so you just need to go here and uh, in the wavehook section you just need to add an endpoint you can put your endpoint description then that that's done once it's done then obviously you will be you will be you will be you know providing this this uh, this controller basically this endpoint this index endpoint and then basically this is how actually we retrieve the data um once there is any request coming from the stripe so the ideal scenario would be user will be so for example the stripe will will deduct some money in a, in a month then you definitely need that information because you might want to store that information in your table in your database as well so that you will also have the same information like okay this is the user this is still continuing with the subscription for example this kind of data you if you want to need then uh, you will get through this way so you can basically configure your wavehook in a way that uh, stripe will basically push the data to you and uh, you basically go and uh, grab the data and deserialize the data and there are a lot of different events here. it's very important as well so see here so this stripe event this is basically coming uh, so we are parsing the data and uh, this object has some event type so there are, this is customer subscription deleted so customer deleted the subscription 
obviously the type would be that and you will definitely do something based on that if subscription updated means user might do something maybe updated the subscription or updated the quantity whatever that you need and you can do custom subscription created and also there are other thing trial you can also have uh, you know uh, enabled customer to to uh, have a date trial date something like this so you can do a lot of different things so if you if you basically take this one then basically you can do control uh, any anything where there is a use case to support the subscription of your application you can easily do that i think that's all um check the check check the github link in the description and you'll try to uh, you'll definitely understand because the code is very very simple and very easy and if you have any question please don't forget to knock me i will try to help you as much as you as i can so that's for today hope i'll see you in a next video and by the way in the description i'm gonna attach another payment gateway implementation or integration that i did um before so you will also see how can we integrate your brain tree you can also see how can you integrate your paypal um or basic payment into in you know through um well i mean uh, just check the description then you'll, you'll get it so hopefully I'll, I'll see you very soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.